I'm looking homeless AF. Let's talk about the number one event for loan officers to run in December every single year. I'm Nick Carpenter. Welcome back to the channel. Make sure if you haven't already that you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified as I drop videos um, typically every Wednesday. And what we're talking about today is the number one event for loan officers and mortgage brokers to run for your database, <coughs> excuse me, or as a local event um, in the month of December. So what we're going to do is this is a Donuts with Santa event. We want to help people get free Santa photos either for their whole family or for the kids. Again, a great way that we can get people, uh, get some FaceTime with people. We can provide like real value that, you know, most people in America are looking for to get a picture of, of Santa with their kids, especially, you know, if they have little kids, right? So we're going to host a Donuts with Santa event. So here's what we got to do in order to pull this thing off, right? The number one thing is we need a spot. So what we do is we partner with a locally owned um, with a locally owned donut shop that will allow us to buy dozens as necessary. So we don't want to have to go in there and buy 20 dozen up front. We can just go buy like five or six dozen up front and then buy more as we need them. As people show up, as we run out, we can continually refresh uh, our selection so that there's plenty when somebody comes. Right? We don't ever want somebody to show up and feel like they're getting like the scraps or the leftovers. So that's why you do want to make sure you always have at least a couple dozen donuts available as people are coming. So we're going to get a spot. The way that we're doing it is we're doing it from 9 to 11 a.m., okay? And the reason that we're doing that time is to we know that people are going to want to get themselves dolled up right yeah i mean 11 a.m feels kind of late for donuts on, on a sunday morning or whatever but also uh it gives people time to get up put their makeup all on hair you know iron clothes or whatever people need to do in order to be feel really good about taking their picture with santa so 9 to 11 is typically the time that we do that and so you got to find a spot that's going to be your number one thing is where where are you going to host this thing at right number two is we need a Santa, okay? And so you have two choices here on how we can find a Santa. Obviously, you could buy a Santa suit and you could get somebody that you know to be Santa Claus. Usually, if you do it that way, right, it's going to be more like on the free side or, you know, whatever the, maybe the bill isn't going to be like quite as big, okay? The other thing is, uh, and I'll just put it here on the screen, but we use a website called Gig Salad, Gig Salad, and yeah, I just I can show it to you right now, real quick, um, because I think this is pretty cool. So let me just pop in, and I'll share my screen with you. Uh, I'll pull up the Gig Salad website and show you real fast. All right, so yeah, you can see right here. If you come over, you're like, what are you looking for? So we put Santa Claus, right? And so it's gonna ask us, okay, well, what type of event is this? And you know, you kind of let me uh, shrink down my let me shrink my video real quick. So you're like, what kind of event is this? Okay, I usually select dinner party. How many children? I, you know, I'm usually going for like 30. How many number of guests? Let's say 90. Uh, do you know the exact address? Not yet. Okay, what city is this going to be in? So you just put in like Arlington, Texas, right? When is the event? So let's just say, for example, in most cases, what we're doing, we're either doing it on the 7th or 8th of December or we're doing it on the 14th or 15th. That's going to be about the latest is like the 15th, right? So it's going to be a 9 a.m. start time. Or what I might even do is put a 9.30 start time. And then we're going to have them there for an hour and a half. And then you can drop whatever you want to have people know about this. And what will happen is people are going to reply back to your post and they are going to offer their services. So they're going to tell you how much they cost, what's their availability. You're going to get to see multiple photos of how they look in their Santa Claus outfit. And so you can make a really good choice. In my case, because if we're hiring for 1.5 hours, um, that's usually going to be somewhere in the range of like, on the high end, like 250 bucks. Okay? Something like that. So usually it's going to be like 175 to... 250. I mean, you're you're always going to get people that bid you higher than that. There's going to be some people that bid like 400, 500, you know, that kind of price. Um, just pick the Santa Claus that you like and the price that you like, right? But usually when I'm doing this event, I'm looking to spend about 250 bucks on the Santa Claus. Okay. All right. Last thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a way to take the photos, right? So 
what, what I would recommend is that you partner with a local photographer. When you're going to hire the photographer, just make sure that they understand like what's going on here, right? Where um, you want them to take a picture either with the families or with the kids, with Santa Claus, and and then give some kind of like a Google Drive link or some link where the families can be able to download their photos. I don't think it needs to be where everybody's getting individual links or that type of effort doesn't need to go into it. It's like, just put everything in a Google Drive, send the pictures to every, you know, send the pictures out, that link out so everybody can get it. Um, and you just have it where it's not publicly accessible, but it is accessible if somebody has the link. And, um, you know, for the photographer, right, you're probably going to usually range maybe 400, 500 bucks. Let's just say she's $500 for the photographer. For for donuts and stuff, right, You're maybe you're in for like 250 so, I mean, all in, we try to do this event here. We're trying to get out of this event here for like a thousand dollars or less, right? That's kind of our budget. Our budget for this full event is about a thousand bucks. And now when you run an event like this, where we're doing donuts with Santa, um, the real value is in the invitation, okay? The real value is in the invitation. So what I want you to consider is that on the high end, you're probably going to get like a 50% show rate. So in our case, you know, if we were going to go spend 250 bucks on donuts, that's probably a couple hundred donuts at least, you know, I would think, right? That's like 200 donuts. So let's just say, for example, if we're thinking, you know, okay, each person comes going to eat a donut, then we could probably invite like 400 people. So that's like a hundred families. If, you know, you consider the average family is four, that's about a hundred families that we can invite knowing that only maybe 50 of the families are going to actually show up, right? So you can determine who are you inviting to this thing. That's always one of my most, you know, uh, asked questions when we talk about doing this type of event is like, who do I invite? And, and that's totally up to you. Um, I don't know how many people are in your database. So I would start with like your best referral partners and your best um, uh, clients that are uh, advocates for you that are re sending you referrals. Um, I would start with those people, like your A's or your, you know, if you kind of have it alphabetized that way. Um, I would start with your A people. And then if you haven't got to 100 families yet, then we go down to your B's. Um, you could also, uh, like one guy who's doing this in Texas, he has all his realtor partners inviting their, you know, top five families or whatever they want to invite to this event. Um, I think five or 10 families each is what he allowed them to do. So you could do that, right? If, if you don't have a hundred families you want to invite, maybe you're inviting 50 and then you let five realtors invite 10 each, knowing again that we're going to get a 50% show rate, right? So this event is awesome. Um, fairly inexpensive to run at only like a thousand dollars. Um, and uh, so last thing I guess is, is we talk about invitations. Okay. So how do you invite? Well, I mean, we could obviously just do, um, you know, just the normal things like email and text message, the, the, the link out. Uh, we could also create a Facebook event and keep it as a private event and only invite the people that we want to invite to that. Um, you could also, obviously phone calls are always going to be your best way to get people to show up. So making personal phone calls to people is going to be the best way. And then you could also, depending on the timing, is you could get a invitation that you actually print and mail to uh, to your very best clients, right? The ones like the 10 or 20 or 30 people that you'd really want to show up, maybe they deserve a mailed invitation. So they feel like it's really something special. You really want them to show up. So you've kind of got those choices, right, of using email and text, social media with events, phone calls, and then the actually mailing an invitation. So those are the different ways you can get somebody to show up. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you have questions or want to know more about how to pull this off for yourself, then just ask me in the comments. Um, also in the comments, if you have ideas for other videos that we should that we should create, say hi to Seuss, um, then you can let me know in the comments for that as well. I really appreciate your ideas. And uh, yeah, hopefully this is helpful for you and you can go pull this off in December. And uh, I'm excited to see how it goes for you because this is a really cool event. Everybody always appreciates it. And it's like creating real face-to-face -face value for the people that matter the most to your mortgage business. So ho hope again that you're awesome. Uh, 
glad that you're here watching this video. If you need any help, check the links down below for the resources and um, hope you're awesome. See ya.